Hi, thank you for considering our WhatsApp Chrome extension. In this video, we will go through the basic of this Chrome extension and how you can get the most value out of it. So to start off, uh, you would need to download the Chrome extension from the extension store. Uh, you can go to the Chrome extension store and search for the extension WF Web Messenger. Once you are on the extension page, you can click on Add to Chrome. This would add the extension to your Chrome. So you can see that as, as soon as this is installed, uh, there is a, there is a, a extension that shows up on the top right. What you can do is you can actually pin the extension over there. So once you have installed the extension, uh, you can invoke uh, the extension in a couple of ways. One way is to go to the top right and click on the extension icon. Uh, this should open up um, your WhatsApp web and it should show our configuration or our settings window on the bottom right. Uh, on the other hand, the another easy way to invoke this is by clicking on the send button over here. If you are already in the web.whatsapp.com or your WhatsApp web uh, page. So on the bottom right, you can see our uh, configuration window. Uh, this sort of makes up uh, a good chunk of the functionality. So starting from the top, uh, on the top you have multiple couple of options. You can either choose to send a single message. This is in case if you want to send a message to someone, just one person. Uh, on the other hand, you can also decide to send the message to people in bulk. So once you choose bulk, uh, you see that there are two more options that shows up on the bottom. One is the number field and other one is the upload CSV. Now number field, uh, this is when if you want to send uh, the same message to a list of numbers. So what you can do is you can uh, click over here and provide the numbers and on the bottom you can put send, put the message and click send. Um, now on the other hand, you also have the option of choosing a file. And uh, you can choose a file and once the file is chosen, you can see all the options that come up. So what you would, you also have, uh, you can also give additional configuration. You can select the column in which the phone number is located. You can choose to ignore the uh, first heading. And also in addition for both numbers field and upload CSV, you have the option to put a random delay. When you are sending WhatsApp messages, it's important that you don't send a ton of messages at the same time because that could trigger WhatsApp spam systems, which could make you uh, get banned in some cases. So what we do suggest is putting a, a random delay between five to 10 seconds. And you know the system automatically calculates the delay for you. So that is a major chunk of the, of the features. In addition to that, we have something called a quick chat. Um, you can view that by going to a message and you can see uh, a couple of uh, a quick chat options that shows up over here on that on just above the message location. So the way it works is you can click on any of the message and it should automatically uh, uh, paste it into the, the message box. So suppose if uh, you are in customer service and if there is a certain chunk of message which you reply um, with the same response, what you can do is you can add it to our quick chat uh, location. You can also add additional messages over here. So uh, testing, in this case, I'm adding it over here and you can see that the quick chat automatically shows it. And the next time when someone clicks on testing, it, uh, it, sh it shows up on the text message. With that, we come to the end of this uh, video. If you have any questions, reach out to us at rocketsend.io. There you have a chat option on the bottom right of the website. Thank you and you have a great day.